What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at a options contract chart for SPY. Now, make sure to do, I mean, to be able to do this, you're going to have to be on the PC unless you own the contract. I haven't figured out a way to pull it up on the phone without buying the contract first. So if anyone knows how to do that without buying it on the phone, that would be great. But as far as I know, the computer is the only way to do it without buying it. But I could be wrong. If anyone knows otherwise, please correct me on that. Anyways, we're going to pick a contract here. Now, first of all, with SPY, we're going to pay attention to the IV uh, first and foremost. So look at this real quick. Let's go call side. In the money calls. We're, we're talking 13.87 IV. These are the 18th of July expiring. But look at this. Out of the money, all of a sudden it goes back down to 1292, 1267, 1246, 1233, 1226 is the lowest being those 392s. I have the 391s. But that's odd because technically it should ladder consistently, but you see a consistent decrease, but <laughs> but then another increase. So it is quite odd. IV should not do this. It should not, at the money, it should not start to go lower before it goes back higher. That is odd. So I'm thinking this range here with the odd IV is a good range to look at. So you go to the chart. What do you see? We're on the daily here, right? There's gaps up. Start treating it like you would anything else. Now the RSI is sitting at 35. Don't know if RSI logic will apply here just yet, but let's go to lower time frame. Let's go to the one minute. Let's say you wanted to buy this contract. This is the one minute. Now, this gap down, and what happened today, I can't show you unfortunately because they expired, but the ones that, 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 that did this today, if you got into the 391 calls, they gapped filled down to the 13 cent mark and I had a limit order set as many other people did in the group today and right at 13 cents it filled partial order most of them not all of them and then it went up 200 percent so very very possible this could be viable moving forward but we have to take a look at it may only be viable on zero DTE but let's take a look at some of them and see what's going on let's take a look at some in the money Okay, this one gapped up today, but then it got down here, look, gap down, and then gap back up, and then it partially fills it, but there's still some gap right here between these two lines. So I'm just saying, look at these options charts for the specific contracts, because it's a whole different form of psychology that's kind of an out-of-the-box way to look at things, and um, you know, chart them the same way as we were just talking about. Let's go back to the actual chart itself. So SPY for the daily, right? If we just do the bottoms of all of the gaps above the current price and treat it as resistance, this could be a good way to help identify price trend, price movement, potential price direction, right? We're still on the daily, correct? Cool. Let me go ahead and put this back to auto. It's all weird looking. Okay, so we gapped up slightly today, forming support right here, tops of all the bottom gaps, or gaps below the price. So this is our little zone here, right? And we have what? What's today? The 15th? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven trading days before the next FOMC meeting. So basically a week and two days. So what's gonna happen is I think we're gonna trade in this very narrow channel right here until that FOMC meeting, which is why we're gonna be switching back to core logic between now and then. Look at the RSI. It is perfectly centered basically at fair value. It's a little bit over 50, but basically right there right smack dab in the middle ready to trade sideways for a couple weeks week and two days actually and then you know depending on the FOMC I believe they've priced it in I think we may see a potential gap fill here at some point but 
I'm thinking that comes much later. I think we're going to start seeing the upside come to fruition. I would expect this 400 to be filled within the next couple weeks, if not sooner. So, that's all I got. Have a good one. Just, I would just go practice it. Options, charting. Take a look. Just take a look. You can, you can view it in a widget. If you want, you can put MAs on it, you know, technicals on it, whatever you like to do. Just analyze it. Take a look. It's worth a shot. Today it, it paid handsomely. And it, we did it twice. It filled the gap for the calls at 391 at 13 cents. And then it went up to 39. I still way too early, but 200% is 200%. But it went from 13 to 39 overall. And then I did it again when it went from, uh, it filled a gap at 20 later in the day. And then that immediately bounced to like 26, which is a modest gain. So not, not bad at all. Definitely worth looking at.